what is the common theme behind these thoughts and images? The seemingly innocent apple. Throughout filmmaking history, the apple has been depicted as an everyday treat amongst villain characters. In this video essay, we will be researching to find the reason why this may be. We will discuss the symbolism of the apple and its history. We will discuss examples of this trope while simultaneously viewing multiple examples of this fact as accurate. So welcome to this video essay on the symbolism of apples in film and television. You may have noticed a reoccurring trope in movies and TV shows where villains are often depicting eating apples. This seems like an odd stereotype as bad guys don't exclusively consume apples in real life. However, there are reasons why filmmakers use this symbol. Some researchers say it could be linked to the biblical times and the story of original sin. The religious connotations of the apple in Western culture have been explored in numerous academic studies, including one by Dr. William G. Dottie, who discusses the apple as a symbol of temptation in his book, Mythography, the Study of Myths and Rituals. He notes that the apple's association with sin and temptation has made it a powerful symbol in various mythologies and religious traditions, including Greek and Norse mythology. Another source that explores the religious symbolism of the apple is the Encyclopedia of Religion, which discusses the apple's association with temptation and sin in context of various religions, including Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. The encyclopedia notes that the apple's association with temptation and sin has led us to use this in various religious and cultural rituals, including the Jewish holiday of Rosh Hashanah, where an apple is dipped in honey to symbolize a sweet new year. In film and television, apples symbolize evil and temptation in various works, including the iconic scene from Snow White and the Seven Doors, where the villainous queen offers Snow White a poisoned apple. The use of this apple in this scene reinforces the idea that the queen is a villainous character seeking to harm the innocent Snow White. Overall, the religious symbolism of the apple as a symbol of temptation and sin has played a significant role in shaping the use of apples as a symbol of villainy in popular culture. From its origins in the Bible to its use in various mythologies and religious traditions, the apple has become a powerful symbol of evil and temptation that continues to be used in film and television. Films are primarily visual. Storytelling through what you see is essential. One of the best ways to show a character's confidence, strength, and power is to find a way to depict it visually without breaking the film's flow. Having a character eat while talking to another character is a great way to show dominance because it suggests your character does not value what they have to say. Similarly, if a character eats while committing some heinous act, such as stabbing someone or harming somebody in any way, it would show how little that character values the laws that they're even breaking. This is why filmmakers might choose to have a character eat in the middle of a scene. So why apples specifically? Apples are loud. They're a food that causes a audible crutch, emphasizing that character and how little they care about what's being said. It makes it difficult for the character to hear what others are saying, and it also draws attention to them away from anyone else that's wanting to talk. Additionally, apples are portable, making them easy to carry around and consume anywhere, which makes it always a good vessel in film and television because you don't have to have it make sense as to why that character may have one because it could just fit in your pocket. The use of apples as a symbol for villainous characters does have a long history in film and television. Apples have been used to convey a character's villainous nature, but absolute evil may not always be in the case of some of these instances. Characters can be seen eating apples when they want to be portrayed as arrogant or confident. Even though these characters may not become evil or are evil, those two character traits are always necessary for any antagonist. So that's why it's important to show that through these visual elements. For instance, in Harry Potter, the villainous Draco Malfoy crunches his apple while overlooking other characters while he's off in the corner with his goons, showing that he doesn't even care of who he thinks is lower than him in this particular situation. Another example in Dennis the Menace, when we see the character Switchblade Sam, played by Christopher Lloyd, the menacing way he eats his apple with that knife immediately gives the impression to the audience that he's up to no good. Interestingly, while filmmakers use apples to depict villainous characters, Apple the company, which makes MacBooks, iPhones, watches, they do not allow villains to use their products in movies and TV shows. So in a way, it's kind of an ironic disposition that adds to that symbol of Apple's film and television and necessary or unnecessary evil. This trope is so ingrained into our society of film and television that a Fortune 500 company is trying to avoid it subliminally that 
they're trying to disassociate themselves from apples and the visual representation of evil because they know that what people see visually can inherently influence what they think about characters and they don't want to be seen in that light. It's really in conclusion with my research, apples are just a potent visual symbol that filmmakers use to pick villainous characters over confidence, arrogance, and their dominance. The loud crunch of an apple draws attention to the character, and their portable nature makes them easy food to consume in any location. The use of apples in film and television has a long history for sure, and it's a trope that audiences are familiar with. As a symbol, apples are as recognizable as the everyday use of the Wilhelm scream. Do you like apples? Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>